Okay, let's head to Germany today uh, with this beer review. This is uh, from the Eyinger Brewery in Eying, Germany. Um, and this is their Marzen Oktoberfest beer. So, telling you what, you want an Oktoberfest beer, why not get one from Germany? It's basically the birthplace of the uh, style. A reason it's called Marzen Oktoberfest, uh, Marzen is German for March, and it kind of harkens back to the older days when uh, they just couldn't brew beer in the summertime uh, with the, uh, the bacteria temperature being too high. They really didn't have any refrigeration back in the day, so they had to brew their beers in the month of March. And uh, then they would kind of keep them in a the cellar. They would kind of beer, uh, brew some beer with higher gravity um, to kind of keep during the summer months. They could drink that beer that was brewed in March in the summertime, and then, of course, October they would uh, brew some more. So... This is one of the quintessential Oktoberfest beers, uh, one of the, um, the go-tos uh, of the style. Uh, maybe not the top rated, but uh, definitely um, one of them, and definitely an accessible beer. The Eyinger uh, Brewery is uh, world-renowned, world-famous, and I hope to one day visit Germany and visit the Eyinger Brewery, hopefully. That'll happen sometime in my life. I don't know. So let's open this up. It comes in a nice big bottle. This is a one pint, uh, point nine fluid ounces, not one pint, pint nine fluid ounces. So it's a little more than a uh, standard pint uh, bottle. And as soon as I'm opening up, I'm, I'm seeing kind of uh, uh, the infiltration of bubbles, kind of causing a head on the top of the bottle, which is very interesting. Uh, we'll pour it into a pint glass. Um, of course, you can have a beer stein, uh, any of those German boot glasses would be good for this kind of style as well. And as we pour it in, we see a nice fluffy head pouring right up to the top of Kermit the Frog's uh, face. I'm using my Kermit glass. And yeah, this is going to be an orangish beer, um, kind of the uh, style and the color that you kind of come to expect with uh, Oktoberfest beers. Uh, a lot of the uh, fall beers come out pretty darn early. Uh, I'm doing this review on October, or I'm sorry, I'm doing this review on August 31st. It's been a long day for me. Um, so uh, the pumpkin beers and the Oktoberfest beers really come out way early. Uh, and come October, some of them are off the shelves, as a matter of fact. So if you want to drink some in October, you'll find a few, but it uh, might be better to <clears throat> get it in August and stock up. Let's grab a whiff of Eyinger Oktoberfest Martzen. Authentic Bavarian Festival Lager. All right, getting a very uh, almost uh, heavier malty kind of smell to this. Very good smell. I I, I would equate this to uh, maybe Rogue Dead Guy Ale, maybe a Maybach kind of uh, smell to this. A very um, luscious kind of uh, kind of malty malty quality. Let me grab another whiff. Very heavy lager. I mean, the very heavy lagery. I'm not getting that corn, kind of rice, kind of American adjunct kind of lager smell from it. This is uh, definitely using some uh, premium malts, um, only found in Germany, I'm sure. And as the head dissipates, this is a nice fluffy head. I mean, we're really seeing the orangish Oktoberfest beer. And I would love to pour this into a big boot right now, walk around and eat. I don't know, sauerkraut, sausage, whatever they got at the Oktoberfest celebration, and just have a nice day. Let's grab a taste now. This is the quintessential Bavarian lager. This is such a beer that you just... What I said with the aroma that you want to be at an Oktoberfest event, the taste doubles that opinion, in my opinion. This is a beer that you just want to have in the fall. You just want to be out in the fields, in the wheat fields, or whatever you're doing. Uh, come fall time, maybe walking through a pumpkin patch, something like that, even though this is not a pumpkin beer. This is an Oktoberfest beer that is definitely for the ages, in my opinion. Uh, that said, I will give Eyinger Martzen Oktoberfest beer, I'll give this one a 9 out of 10.